now we'll kind of go over the upcoming uh, series against the Mets and the Brewers this week. Um, as much as I'm kind of nervous going into this week with how inconsistent our offense is, I like our chances with the Mets this week. Um, we've got our four horses going. Um, you got uh, Max Fried pitching um, game one, and then you got a doubleheader on Tuesday. Um, you can either throw – right game one or, or Morton game one, and then have the other go game two um, for that double header. And then you've got Ian Anderson more than likely going for the fourth game of the series. Obviously you'd love a sweep. I'd even love three out of four, but I'd be content with, with a split at this rate. Um, we're treading water, waiting for our offense to get consistent. So just to stay at 500 and be even with a Mets team right now, that's really hot. I hate to say it. Um, would give me a boat of confidence. Um, and, you know, obviously the Brewers have been inconsistent um, at times this year as well. Their pitching has been really good. Um, but again, going into that Brewer series as well, we have Freed pitching one of those games and we can either have Morton or Wright, depending on what Snicker wants to do. He can make Wright the number two starter now if he wants to, um, given they're probably going to pitch Tuesday, both of them, Morton and Wright. So he can put right or right at that at, uh, at that two spot in the rotation, which I wouldn't be mad about because if you have Freed and Wright going back to back, those are probably two guaranteed wins the way they've been pitching lately. So that would be nice to see. Uh, maybe give Morton a little more, um, not rest, but he'd end up going against probably a three or four starter for another team when they play instead of you know their 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 second starter, depending on how the matchups work with um, teams in the series. So. Um, maybe something to look forward to. Um, you know, it, it's, it, it's hard the way we've been playing, seeing how we've been playing, you know, splitting with these teams or, or losing two out of three against these teams we should be beating right now. Um, so hopefully we can get on track and maybe gain some ground against the Mets this week with um, taking this series, whether it be three out of four or sweeping. Um, so we'll look forward to that. It should be interesting because right now Freed is set for that Saturday game as well. They haven't really released it, but I'm going off my fantasy team and Freed is set to pitch on Saturday. And so is Corbin Burns. So that might be an interesting matchup, a little, um, rematch, I believe from the NLDS, or maybe it was Morton that pitched against Corbin Burns, but it should be interesting to see that. Yeah, I, and something I've noticed about our Braves is we play up to competition and we play down to competition. So I, it wouldn't surprise me if they go out and win the series against the Mets. It's just sometimes it's how sports work. Um, and, you know, being a football fan with the Colts, you know, they go out and beat the Patriots and then they lose to the Jaguars who are purposely trying to get the first overall pick. Um, so that's definitely not my fault with the Braves, you know, playing up and below um, in terms of our competition, but yeah, I I think with, you know, even Ian is had a great outing last time. It, to me, once Soroka comes back, and if he is at peak Soroka, obviously there's going to be a few bumps on the way. But if come September he's peak Soroka, I think we have the best one through five rotation, especially if Kyle Wright keeps performing like he is. Morton's able to bounce back and then play off Ian Anderson. Like, that is scary. Now, granted, we need our bats to come, but I, it's just, you know, yes, it's easy to harp on. We're, you know, 10 and 12 right now, 10 and 13. It's, you know, at the time of this podcast, yes, it's easy to say, well, crap, you know, we have these great expectations. We have these great expectations. We, you know, won the World Series last year without Acuna, without Soroka. Granted, we don't have Jorge Soler. We don't have Jock Peterson, who's completely crushing it right now. Um, and, you know, it's a, somewhat of a culture shift for Matt Olson as well. Yes, he's a good player. He is pretty caliber, but everybody has their highs and lows. Um, so I, 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 it wouldn't surprise me if we wouldn't win the series against the Mets, just kind of shove it or tie it. I think it's either we're on tie it or we're going to win it. I don't think we're going to lose it. Um, and then going in and hopefully taking it from the from the Brewers because we do well against very very solid pitchers, you know. It, it Corbin Burns go out there. I think Freddie Peralta is still with the Brewers. Um, he'll probably be pitching one of those games as well, especially if Corbin Burns is going against Max Freed. So I feel like it's going to be a solid week, you know. 
Austin Riley's shown up in big, um, big opportunities. I think he's probably going to have a go ahead homer, if not RBI, and what could be the series clinching game um, this week against the Mets. So those are kind of some of my predictions and my stuff. But um, anyway, we another appreciate y'all. Another thing ahead. I forgot, um, which is big, is Max Scherzer pitches on Sunday. He pitched Sunday against the Phillies, so we miss him as well. We miss the we miss Scherzer, and then obviously Degrom's been on the IL, so we miss two out of their five that are really good pitching. So we've got a good shot of taking the series. And I ain't sweating about it either because we've seen Max Scherzer so many times, and there's been games where yeah he's had us, but you know, it's no different than facing them three or four times during the year against the Nats. Um, just because he puts on that, you know, ugly orange and blue uniform doesn't, to me, doesn't change my mind. Or his $40,000 million gazillion contract doesn't bother me whatsoever. Um, but you know, we, we appreciate everybody um, that's listening to this, listening. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, tell your mom, tell your grandma, tell your cousins aunt's best friend about our podcast we appreciate it so much um check out our website we're on youtube and just a quick shout out to my wife you're watching on youtube she's one has this beautiful display that is behind me um so shout out to her i'm doing it because i love her um but like i said we appreciate anybody who shares this and listens to it um thank you to jj for hopping on earlier fantastic human being can't wait to kind of be able to support him this weekend whenever he comes up to my neck of the woods but Nick, enjoying your week, and we look forward to seeing you all next week um, as we look to have more guests on for you and um, some more of our personal insight that comes from where we find on Twitter. So thank you all so much, and chop on.